Okay, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. that you have learned over these last few weeks that you might be able to reveal that might ease their concerns that this isn't fake news? And second, I, I think they don't believe it. I, I don't think the public believe it. That's why the Rasmussen poll just has me through the roof. I, I don't think they believe it. Uh, well, I guess one of the reasons I'm here today is to tell you the whole Russian thing, that's a ruse. That's a ruse. And by the way, it would be great if we could get along with Russia, just so you understand that. Now, tomorrow you'll say, Donald Trump wants to get along with Russia. This is terrible. It's not terrible. It's good. We had Hillary Clinton try and do a reset. We had Hillary Clinton give Russia 20% of the uranium in our country. You know what uranium is, right? It's a thing called nuclear weapons and other things, like lots of things are done with uranium, including some bad things. Nobody talks about that. I didn't do anything for Russia. I've done nothing for Russia. Hillary Clinton gave them 20% of our uranium. Hillary Clinton did a reset. Remember with the stupid plastic button that made us all look like a bunch of jerks? Here, take a look. He looked at her like, what the hell is she doing with that cheap plastic button? You know, Sergey, uh, in anticipation of uh, this important meeting and our, our time here together, I wanted to uh, present you with uh, a little gift which represents what President Obama and Vice President Biden and I have been saying. And that is, we want to reset our relationship. And let's, do it, let's do it together. So we will do it together, okay? <laughs> Thank you very much. You are Thank very you. welcome. We worked hard to get the right Russian word. Do you think you, we got it? You get it wrong. I got it wrong. Ah. <laughs> it should be Perezagruska. Ah. And this says uh, Peregruska, which means overcharge. <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't let you do that to us. I, I promise. <laughs> OK. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Very kind of you. It would be on my desk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, uh, we mean it, and we look forward to it. Hillary Clinton, that was a reset. Remember it said reset? Now, if I do that, oh, I'm a bad guy. If we could get along with Russia, that's a positive thing. We have a very talented man, Rex Tillerson, who's going to be meeting with them shortly. And I told him, I said, I know politically it's probably not good for me. Hey, the greatest thing I could do is shoot that ship that's 30 miles offshore right out of the water. Everyone in this country is going to say, oh, it's so great. That's not great. That's not great. I would love to be able to get along with Russia. Now, you've had a lot of presidents that haven't taken that tack. Look where we are now. Look where we are now. So, if I can. Now, I love to negotiate things. I do it really well and all that stuff. But, but it's possible I won't be able to get along with Putin. Maybe it is. But I want to just tell you, the false reporting by the media, by you people, the false, horrible, fake reporting, makes it much harder to make a deal with Russia. And probably Putin said, you know, he's sitting behind his desk and he's saying, you know, I see what's going on in the United States. They follow it closely. It's going to be impossible for President Trump to ever get along with Russia because of all the pressure he's got with this fake story, okay? And that's a shame. Because if we could get along with Russia, and by the way, China and Japan and everyone, if we could get along, it would be a positive thing, not a negative thing. Mr. President, Mr. President since you Tax raised reform is going to happen uh, fairly quickly. We're doing Obamacare. We're in final stages. We should be submitting the initial plan um, in March, early March, I would say. Uh, and we have to, as you know, statutorily and for reasons of budget, we have to go first. It's not like, frankly, the tax would be easier, in my opinion, but for statutory reasons and for budgetary reasons, we have to submit the health care sooner. So we'll be submitting health care sometime in early March, mid-March, and after that, we're going to come up. And we're doing very well on tax reform. Yes. Mr. President, you mentioned Russia. Let's talk about some serious issues that have come up in the last week that you have had to deal with as President of the United States. Okay. You mentioned the vessel, the spy vessel off the coast of the United States. Not good. There was a ballistic missile test that many interpreted as a violation good. of an Not agreement good. between the two countries and a Russian plane buzzed a U.S. destroyer. Not good. I listened to you Excuse me. during the Excuse campaign. Excuse me. When did it happen? It happened when 
if you were Putin right now, you would say, hey, we're back to the old games with the United States. There's no way Trump can ever do a deal with us because the public, you have to understand, if I was just brutal on Russia right now, just brutal, people would say, you would say, oh, isn't that wonderful? But I know you well enough. Then you would say, oh, he was too tough. He shouldn't have done that. Look, I'm just all of the things, wait a minute, wait, to those, wait, excuse me, just one second. To all of those things Mr. that President. you mentioned are very recent because probably Putin assumes that he's not going to be able to make a deal with me because it's politically not popular for me to make a deal. So Hillary Clinton tries to reset. It failed. They all tried. But I'm different than those people. Go ahead. How are you interpreting those moves and what do you intend to do about them? Have just you the given way I said Rex it. Tillerson any advice or counsel I on have. how to deal? I what? have. And I, I'm so beautifully represented. I'm so honored that the Senate approved him. Uh, he's going to be fantastic. Uh, yes, uh, I think that I've Is already... Is Putin testing you, do you believe, sir? No, I don't think so. I think Putin probably assumes that he can't make a deal with me anymore because politically it would be unpopular for a politician to make a deal. I can't believe I'm saying I'm a politician, but I guess that's what I am now. Because, look, it would be much easier for me to be tough on Russia, but then we're not going to make a deal. Now, I don't know that we're going to make a deal. I don't know. We might, we might not. But it would be much easier for me to be so tough. The tougher I am on Russia, the better. But you know what? I want to do the right thing for the American people. And to be honest, secondarily, I want to do the right thing for the world. If Russia and the United States actually got together and got along, and don't forget, we're a very powerful nuclear country, and so are they. There's no upside. We're a very powerful nuclear country, and so are they. I've been briefed, and I can tell you one thing about a briefing that we're allowed to say because anybody that ever read the most basic book can say it, nuclear holocaust would be like no other. They're a very powerful nuclear country, and so are we. If we have a good relationship with Russia, believe me, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. So when you say they're not good, do you mean that Who they are I say under... Who not good? No, I, when I, I read off the three things that have recently happened. No, Each one of them, you said good, they're not they happen, good. But do they damage the relationship? They, they all happened recently. No, I'm This country's see ability to work with Russia? They all happened recently, and I understand what they're doing, because they're doing the same thing. Now, again, Maybe I'm not going to be able to do a deal with Russia, but at least I will have tried. And if I don't, does anybody really think that Hillary Clinton would be tougher on Russia than Donald Trump? Does anybody in this room really believe that? Okay. But I'll tell you one thing. She tried to make a deal. She had the reset. She gave all that valuable uranium away. She did other things. You know, they say I'm close to Russia. Hillary Clinton gave away 20% of the uranium in the United States. She's close to Russia. Can we I gave, you know what I gave to Russia? You know what I gave? Nothing. Would you agree, though, that there's an appearance of a conflict, though? One example being uh, Uranium One, the Canadian company, you know, sold to Russia, something that uh, required your approval as well. Um, and then later, uh, some of the players involved in that deal wound up paying former President uh, Bill Clinton, your husband, obviously, a half million dollar speaking fee. Well, you know, I don't know if we have enough time in this interview to debunk all of the allegations that were made by people who are uh, wielding the partisan uh, acts, but there's no basis for any of that. The timing doesn't work. It happened uh, in terms of the support for the foundation before I was Secretary of State. There were nine government agencies who had to sign off on that deal. I was not personally involved because that wasn't something the Secretary of State did. I mean, literally, we could have a whole show debunking a lot of these really wild, inaccurate allegations. And I'm always amused because the allegation comes forward. And of course, it's your job. You're in the press. You got to say, hey, what's going on here? And the very people making them often say, well, we have no evidence, but if you take from point B and you connect it to point Z, you know, maybe there's something going on. And in fact, there isn't. So can we conclude there'll be no response to these particular provocations? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you anything about what response I do. I don't talk about military response. I don't say I'm going into Mosul in four months. We are going to attack Mosul in four months, then three months later. We are going to attack Mosul in one month. Next week, we are going to attack Mosul. In the meantime, Mosul is very, very difficult. You know why? Because I don't talk about military, and I don't talk about certain other things. You're going to be surprised to hear that. And by the way, my whole campaign, I'd say that. Right. So I don't have to tell you. There I don't want to response. be one of these guys that say, yes, uh, here's what we're going to do. I don't have to do that. There will I don't be have to tell you what I'm going to do in North Korea. Wait a minute. I don't have to tell you what I'm going to do in North Korea. And I don't have to tell you what I'm going to do with Iran. 
You know why? Because they shouldn't know. And eventually, you guys are going to get tired of asking that question. So when you ask me, what am I going to do with the ship, the Russian ship, as an example, I'm not going to tell you. But hopefully, I won't have to do anything. But I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Thanks. It was a wild press conference. Uh, and I think that uh and that you call us fake news and, and 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 put us down like children for asking these questions on behalf of the american people is inconsequential it was unhinged it was wild and i can't believe that there are republicans and on capitol hill and in the white house who don't understand that might play well with the 44 percent of the po population that voted for the president but a lot of americans are going to watch that press conference and think that guy is not focused on me. I don't even know what he's focused on. How much longer should we stay here, folks? Huh? 